My baby's gone. He's never coming back. A mother of three struggling with the loss of her oldest son. I've probably not had maybe three hours of sleep since all of this has happened. Friends and family rallying around Shannon Clark to release balloons for her son, William Miller Jr. The 15 year old died in a shooting at Mount Tabor High School and she wants the world to know him. Yeah, not the little boy that got shot in school, but William Shavis Renard Miller Jr. He had an amazing smile, amazing smile. And I'm, I'm going to miss that smile. I'm not going to see that smile anymore. She remembers the last conversation they had when he woke up late for school the day of the shooting. I told him, don't go. Don't go to school. We already, it's, it's too late. And he wanted to go to school. As he was going down the hall, I seen the side of his face. And, and then when he walked out the side door, that was it. Hours later, she heard about the lockdown, but heard nothing from her son. I just jumped in my car. I took off kept calling and he never answered and I knew right then something wasn't right. I knew it was my son. I knew something wasn't right. These hundreds of balloons floating up to the heavens are the latest show of love for Miller and his family. An outpouring Clark says is overwhelming. It lets me know the love that people have for my son. It's amazing. It's amazing, and I really want to appreciate it. But she believes what we need now is action against the violence that ended his life. All of these guns and all of that, they need to put that stuff down. Like, guns kill people. My son did not deserve that. He was a good boy. He had the biggest smile. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't understand any of it. A pain passing understanding for this mother hoping change and healing come. In Winston-Salem, Grace Holland, WFMY News 2.